All right, let's go ahead and talk about activity series. And this is super easy, it's really easy. An activity series is a list of elements organized according to the ease with which the elements undergo certain chemical um, reactions. Um, they are useful to predict whether or not a reaction will occur. And when we're talking about activity series, we're gonna talk specifically about single replacement. And so what the activity series shows us is it shows us what elements will replace um, other elements. And so if you uh, take a look, here is a list of the activity series. So the one on the left, are they're all metals, and the one on the right, those are non-metals. And so metals replace metals, non-metals replace non-metals. So when we're talking about, when we're thinking about a single replacement reaction, let's say we have lithium, and let's say that the other compound is magnesium uh, chloride. Well, notice how on the list, the lithium is higher than the magnesium. And so the lithium, what that tells us is if it's higher on the activity series, the lithium will replace the magnesium, uh, no matter what compound it's in. Now let's say that we have it reversed, where the magnesium is alone, right? Let's say the magnesium is alone, it's the, the element. And let's say the lithium is the one in the compound. Because magnesium is lower on the list, it will not replace the lithium in a single replacement reaction. So that reaction actually would not occur. And so this list tells us what elements will replace what. And essentially, wherever the element is on the list, it will replace everything below it, but it will not replace anything above it. So for metals, greater activity means a greater ease of loss of electron. And so it's uh, easier for it to form a positive charge. Um, and so for nonmetals, it's the opposite. It means that it's a greater ease of gaining electrons or it's easier for it to form negative ions. And so the most active elements are gonna be placed at the top. So metals, uh, metals that uh, really, really, really wanna lose electrons are gonna be placed at the top. Nonmetals, which really, really, really wanna gain electrons will be placed at the top. And so the ones that are placed at the top can replace each of the elements below it uh, from from a compound in a single replacement reaction and so again everything that is below a certain element it that means that element will replace it in a single react uh, single replacement reaction um, anything above a certain element that means that element will not replace it so easy peasy um, an element further down can be replaced by uh, any element below it but not above it I'm sorry an element further down can replace any element below it, but not above it. And that's it.